In this video, you will be learning how to check the seismic drift of the structure, which is a part of stability checks when designing of the structure. So what is drift? There are four types of drift. Number one is global drift, which is the displacement of top story with respect to foundations. Interstory drift is the displacement of one story with respect to the adjacent story displacement. While the global drift ratio is the displacement of top story with respect to foundation and the building height. Interstory drift ratio is the ratio of displacement of one story adjacent to the story displacement divided by the elevation between the story. Now we have to check the stress, seismic drift on the given scenario. Limitation of on the drift by UBC 97 code on interstory drift ratio. The limit for interstory drift ratio depends upon the time period. For structures with time period greater than 0.7, limit is 2%, and for structures with time period less than 0.7, the limit is 2.5%. The maximum inelastic drift is computed as maximum displacement is equal to 0.7 times strength reduction factor into delta S. The delta S is obtained by E tabs. Or you can also obtain delta M directly by incorporating the scale factor in the load case, which we'll be doing in this video. So now I've already modeled the structure and applied the rigid diaphragms to the structure. The loads are also assigned to the slabs. The diaphragm is rigid and is applied on all stories. It is a 10 story structure defining the mass source which is already defined. Now adding the earthquake loads. Using UBC 97. Now for drift, we have to refine the different load case because we will amplify it 0.7 into R times so that it's a serviceability check. The values are taken from UBC 97 chapter number 16. Similarly, we have to modify the other lateral loads the same way we modified EX. The load case EX and EY will be used in the design of the structure while the load case EX drift and EY drift will only be used in the serviceability check. We have to make sure that the load case EX drift and EY drift is not taken into consideration by ETAPS for design of the structure as it's just a serviceability check which will be amplified 0.7 R times to check the drift ratio only. In order to make sure load case is properly defined we have to go to design now in order to make sure that the earthquake drift load case is not incorporated in the design you have to go to design option and go to other so that it's not incorporated in combinations and the value of scale factor is taken as 0.7 into 
R that is strength reduction factor since base shear was reduced by R so we will design on EX and EY case but now we have to amplify the base shear again so that the drift is checked on the actual force which is also known as inelastic drift now we will be adding default combinations and also check whether ETAB has taken the drift cases or not it is important that ETAB has not taken the drift cases in design because we will only be using the drift cases for serviceability checks now run the model first of all we have to check the time period of the structure the time period of the structure is as shown on the first mode the drift limit is calculated as fundamental period is 1.7 seconds since time period is greater than 0.7 seconds then the limit on the ratio is 0 0.02 or 2 percent now we'll go to show tables results displacements and story drifts and click on ok now select the load case or combination for the drift only here it is three di directional also select drift y cases now you have to sort the value from increasing to decreasing so sort as descending now the maximum drift we are getting is less than the limit so the drift of the building is controlled if the drift was exceeding the limit then we have to revise the dimensions or the stiffness of the structural lateral force existing system thank you for watching